I want to talk about things I have encountered. Um, I used to hear voices a lot, uh, mostly from the inside of my body. Really weird and strange. Um, I couldn't read, uh, because when reading, uh, I heard voices. Uh, when listening to music, I heard voices. Um, I, I still have that, actually, with music, but it is becoming less. And I think that's also because of the medication I'm taking. Um, yeah, in the beginning it was from the inside, and I have learned, must say that, it was so realistic that I couldn't hear uh, my own thoughts, you know, my own thoughts drowned. And I heard voices. Uh, later on, that took me many years actually, I learned that I projected that on my own. Um, so, in a nutshell, all the voices I heard were fake, you know. Uh, but I'm still hearing voices, but lately more outside of my uh, body, in a way. Uh, I hear my name, um, I hear clear voices sometimes, but I also hear um, yeah, blah, 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 that I can't hear it. And then I hear something and I try to listen, but I can't understand what they are saying. I don't mind that, because it's from the outside, and nowadays I can let go of that. But in the past, I was caught up uh, in the voices I heard, and projected that on everything I did from the outside. Um, well, like I said, I couldn't read anymore, I couldn't watch movies anymore or series, I couldn't watch television, because all the nonsense you had on television, I projected that on my own life. So when I saw something, it was like, ooh. I'm that, but I wasn't, you know, and that's spooky, very strange. Um, what else? Yeah, like I said in the last video, I was like like feeling the neighbors, uh, control over my thoughts. Uh, I have that all the time. You know, when 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 thinking within myself, uh, I'm afraid of it. You know, uh, seeing images passing by rapidly. Um, yeah, it's really tough. That's, mm, uh, yeah, <laughs> I want to say the B word, but I won't. Uh, but nowadays, I think it's because of the medicines I'm taking. Uh, I'm feeling better. Uh, two or three days ago, I was psychotic in the evening uh, because I, I did a bit too much. And I was looking at it and I thought, how is this possible? Uh, because it's so realistic, you know. Um, it's, it's also with, like, uh, yeah, how do you say it? Prick, prickles, we say it in Dutch. That you have, uh, that you feel things and, and, and the tension in the air. Uh, that you can't take large crowds anymore. So, like being in the city, I can't take that all the time. But that's also the same with going to the cinema. You know, it's like I'm inside of all the people who are in the cinema. And then the, the, the borders between reality and fantasy disappear. So that's, mm, and that's strange, because like like I said, when with my last uh, psychotic event two or three days ago, uh, I was looking at it, you know, and, and it was not me in a way. So I can't explain that. But I do know when taking rest, uh, I feel better. Uh, perhaps taking a nap, you know, even if it's for 30 to 60 minutes, I feel better afterwards. And then I can have more control within over my own thoughts and feelings. So I must say I was out of medication that the day before. So it is possible that it was because of the medication. Um, yeah, nowadays with the new medication, I feel better all the time. But in the past, I had it daily, every day on the same. Ah, oh, that was mm. so. I know I can't live without medication, but I also know when being uh, released from the hospital, I was still psychotic, you know, because I didn't know what a psychosis was. Like I said, you project fantasy and reality and you get lost in fantasy worlds, uh, fantasizing all the time, you know, and, and, and what is reality then? So I'm really glad that I know about the afterlife, and because of that, I can get let go of my psychotic mind. 
So even if I'm psychotic and I'm delusional, I know it's not real. I know it's not there. Even if it's 100% reality at that time, it isn't. So, no, taking uh, a lot of rest, actually. Uh, I sleep a lot. Uh, I dream again. Uh, with other medication, I couldn't dream anymore. Um, I couldn't feel anymore with those other medication. And now I can, you know. So that's a good thing. That is really great. Hmm. So what else? Yeah, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. But I'm still psychotic and schizophrenic. Um, even when I visit my therapist, you know, I'm a bit uh, in, in fear and, and anxiety and things like that. Uh, it's like every time going to that place, it's like you know, I have to go all over it again, you know. And then I forget about it, and then I continue with my life. But today, it's 2018. When being hospitalized, it was 2005. You know, that's a long period. Hmm. That's a very long period. So, I hope it will go better. Um, mm -hmm. um, I want to show you a poem I made. <coughs> I have it here on my screen. Um, I have uh, many poems I made uh, about being delusional, uh, about being psychotic. Uh, this is one of the... Uh, when in the evening uh, I hear more voices and I'm more sucked into si in, inside my own uh, inner being in a way and then I try to write that down so this one is starts with seeing my thoughts flowing over the walls of the unknown stepping into a landscape step by step walking further inside boxes with droste effect sucked inside like a vacuum what is reality then blown up lost in a maze like an eternity Time, seasons, nature, lost, lost the inner core, seeing my thoughts drowned in fake realities, projecting on each other, short-term thoughts mixed in long-term tides, wandering around in a delusion, double, triple, and so on, mirroring it back and forth within the labyrinth, big, small, big, small, swallowed, letting go disconnections, letting go, disconnecting the thoughts and feelings and truth, eternal love, Hopping from one thought to the other without fear, letting go the mazes of fake designs from reality. Some realities can't be seen. When someone is passing over, it's not the end. You will see them again. Another landscape, another reality, everlasting in universal love that should be connected with the turmoils of life. It will grow bigger than the delusions through which you can swap and be relieved. I like it. So that's also in my book couple of them um, maybe I can find another one I like this one as well ah, a part of my psychosis this is what I wrote a couple of years ago uh, and what I encountered in that weird fantasy world getting older past 33 years already the 20s flew away didn't realize it was cuckoo in many ways with my soul under my arms I walked down the pavements failed at every step Dreams shattered in a broken mirror, didn't see my own reflection, couldn't even think about it. My thoughts drowned before reaching the shore of my mind, hearing voices, forgot that I was walking alone, talking to them, feeling them. The city is a cold place when being alone in thoughts, paintings like Van Gogh's in real life, not wearing the bright colors though, shivering shadows of my own reflection, one, two, maybe even three under the raindrops of, in pools of mud, sitting on the bench next to a canal, hiding away for the light of day, avoiding the crowds on the street, woven stories of irrational thoughts turn out to be real. I am time-traveling through dimensions of the surreal. People I'd met, books I'd read, movies I'd seen, an open window not to be closed again. I'm in space, leaving the galaxy far behind me, Though my feet are here on the ground and can't be seen by my own eyes, tiny creatures are walking out of my body, saying goodbye forevermore. I'm in the past, many, many years ago, even before I was born, hunted down by the unknown. Friends project 
protected me. They traveled with me in spirit. A Jedi here, an alien there. They cut out of my eyes, so I couldn't see. The inner beauty of life. Castles built out of sand, appear throughout the land. My spaceship, buried beneath it all, at the beginning of time. I'm in the future, war of the worlds fighting over me. I found my spaceship in the past and turned back to where I came from. Seeing spirits taking over the good from the bad, moving from body to body. Dinosaurs in the garden, moving back and forth. Our predecessors were from the dark crystal. I drove around in a friend's car, not knowing my future. I was being hospitalized. That was reality for me back then. I didn't know, I, I, I did know about the afterlife reincarnation, but I didn't understand it well enough. So I was projecting all sorts of fantasies, things I encountered within my entire life. I was projecting that on yeah, true fantasy, on reality. And I believed in that. And what I was talking about earlier on with that Droste effect, in a way, um, multiple times at the same time, but then in fantasy world. So, I will see you guys next time. Um, I hope you like my poems. Um, yeah. I will dig up some other things I did in the past and things I was thinking about. Uh, weird thoughts, fantasy worlds, like I said before. Um, until then, bye.